I'm going to introduce briefly our software in Greylab 8. First of all, I open this logo in Illustrator and it's a Lifeline logo. This logo file that was received at Gemini and was created on Illustrator. And I want to export this logo as a PLT file for use in the laser marker. First, I'm going to save it. And I'm going to save on my desktop. I'm going to need a temporary logo. AI. Save on choose any version. I'm going to select Illustrator 8. OK. Then I'm going to open in Grid Lab 8. And this is our software. And I'm going to open from my desktop temporary logo. And this screen and toolbar have been pre-configured with the settings and tools that are most frequently used. And these tools that I'm going to use from start to end first select logo. In this tool select all the vectors in the file. Then I'm going to select a group. Many logos arrive with grouped objects and those groups must be turned into single lines. And then I'm going to press a group icon as many times as necessary until the ungroup icon turns gray. Of course, each logo might be different. Then I'm going to select all. I'm going to resize the logo at one inch height. Apply. And resize at Gemini, we always use a standard logo height at one inch height. Because sometimes we feel logos in Ingrid Lab and we cannot control the field spacing if we don't control the height of the logo. I'm going to select Make Path. This is step separates inside lines from outside lines. For example, the software has to understand the letter O that has a hole in the center and it has to treat the inside of the O differently from the outside of the O. Then I'm going to select Inline and this tool allows us to thin out the logo as a small amount to compensate for the thickness of the laser beam when it marks the logo. The smaller and more detailed the logo is when it's marked, the more important the inline or thinning out process becomes. On inline, we just put a, a number here and select a different color than the original. Now I'm going to delete the original and I'm going to leave the inline and I'm going to block the color that I choose for inline and delete the original. Then I'm going to select all again, make pass and I'm going to fill the logo. I'm going to give a uh, 0 0.007 fill according to the size of the logo that I'm going to give on the laser. For example, this is for a pen 0.25 height and I'm going to select green logo and OK. Next step, I'm going to fill my logo. And first, I'm going to make path again. And I want to show you also this uh, icon that is this show fill. And this icon only tells me if it's going to fill the right way with my logo. For example, right here is telling me that something is wrong with this number. And it's not connected. I'm going to connect it. Now it's fine. So I unchecked it. Now I can hit fill logo. And I'm going to fill it at 0 0.007. 
is the number of lines that I'm going to give to this logo for a pen and the size of the pen is 0.25 height and I'm going to select green color now I'm going to block the fill and I'm going to delete the outside line And then I'm going to uh, select all, break path, and the last tool is output tool that I'm going to use. And this is that will export the logo as a PLT file into whatever location is selected. I'm going to select junk and give the name as a test 10 and I finish my logo. This step of the fill is not necessary if you're going to fill the logo in prolace direct on the laser marker.